kick back, unwind, and enjoy a rare find. Today, we have 15 rare finds. The first rare find is this beautiful baby. PVM Professional Video Monitor, and I got this for free. 13 inches, and the model number is PVM... Oh, PVM 1350. And I've already tried it out. I gotta put it down. I've already tried it out, and it looks really, really nice. But something happened to the top of it. I don't know if somebody dropped it, but there's three lines going across. And most of the time, the top of the screen looks a little wonky. So I'm not really, really sure if you can fix that. If you know about PBMs and fixing the top of a PBM screen, let me know in the comments if you can fix that or not. Either way, it looks really nice. All the games look great on it. Next rare find. Next rare find is this Rhino mask vehicle. Yeah, finding mask toys in Bidwell in 2022. That's crazy. This is one of the ones I had when I was younger. A bomb would fly out of here, and this comes out of here, and these come down and shoot. And there's a there's a ejection seat in here. Really, really cool toy. This one's really incomplete, but still pretty cool to find. It was three dollars. And the next rare find is another mask vehicle. It's the Firecracker. And I press the button here and it like separates. It's really hard to put it back together again, so I'm not going to demonstrate it. But pretty cool. Two masked uh, vehicles in Goodwill. Next rare finds. I have six Blockbuster DVD rentals. DVD rental cases. Let's uh, go through them here. Here's the first one. It's for the Alamo with Billy Bob Thornton. Thornton? Thornton? Thornton. Next one we got is for Ladder 49 and they're all in there. Of course I look in this one and it's weird because this doesn't have the uh, Blockbuster logo anywhere in there like they usually do. This was just some kind of random case that they used for this one. Hmm. The other one's like that too. Let's see about the third one. The third one is Bridget Jones' Diary, and it's a blockbuster rental. It's just got the top of the, the cover of the DVD cut out for whatever reason they put it in there. I hit my hat. Hey, look, see, this one has the thing in it. See how it has the logo over here, blockbuster? Yeah, that's not in the other cases. They must have reused some other ones for them. Okay, next one. This one is for In the Bedroom. I've never seen any of these movies, by the way. I've never seen this one. Next one is for Money Talks. It still says Blockbuster in there. Maybe it's an older one. Oh, look at that. On the DVD, it has a little ring around it with the movie number on it. See that? That's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that before. Interesting. Okay, last one is a video game. It's PlayStation 3 Assassin's Creed 2. And uh, yeah, it's in there. Got some Assassin's Creed 2. I've never played any of the Assassin's Creed games. I have Assassin's Creed 3 in my living room, ready to go, but I just haven't done it yet. Okay, the next refines, as usual, are VHS tapes, and we've got six of them. Let's check it out. Well, kick to my camera. First one we have is a Repo Man, and I've never seen this movie, but I heard it's really good or really cool or funny or something like that. But yeah, looking forward to checking this one out. The rest of them are rentals, and I got cool blockbuster sleeves over here. Let's, uh, these are really cool. I got a special JFK rental, and it's a cut box in a rental case. And the reason I got it is because it's a really old media VHS. Like, this is really old, it's probably from the early 80s. It says Blockbuster Video on the back, so. For whatever reason, they went, rented it and kept, I guess they gave it out in this case and not in the Blockbuster case? I don't know. Maybe they were selling it? I don't know. Oh, this is previously viewed on here, so maybe it's an old tape and they're just getting rid of it. Oh, shit. Look at that old thing. I think the plastic inside is turning yellow as well. It's, it's old. That's why I got it, but I'll watch it.
Next up we have two Blockbuster Video Previewed Collection Slip Sleeves. These are always really cool to me, and for whatever reason, this movie store, Blockbuster, this location, put these, put masking tape on the ends. Like, I guess it would help them find it better. I don't know, but I think I might take this off. I actually have a couple more down here that I found that also have this masking tape. So they all must all came from the same store. See, here's my other ones. So I got five of them now. When I take the masking tape off, I can probably get it to look really nice like that. So it's possibly gonna happen. The first one, if you didn't couldn't tell, was Loose Cannons. Never saw it. Next one is Mutiny on the Bounty. I think I've seen this movie, and I remember liking it. Okay, we got two left. They're both rentals. This one is called Blue Thunder, and I recognized this because I found actually the Blue Thunder toy a few Rare Finds videos ago. It's actually really pricey on eBay, so I saw Blue Thunder, I was like, wow, I'm gonna watch the movie and it'll make me appreciate the toy more and know where it came from. Okay, the last VHS tape and the last rare find is... Okay, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Steel Justice. I've never heard of it, but it looks right up my alley from the 80s or early 90s. Can't wait to watch it. Well, that's it. And remember, like Indiana Holmes always says, keep up the grind and you'll get a rare find.